Hello, everyone. My name is Professor Jeremiah Elioso, one of the Supervisor for Technology and Online Education Office. And for today, I am going to teach you how to archive classes and how to reactivate, it, reactivate classes that has been put into archives. So why are we doing this? I know that we are on our second semester of our online distance learning, and we have just finished in our first semester our first try on our online distance learning using our platform Neo LMS. And so I know that um, some of us are still in the process of preparation with our um, new subjects or new classes for the second semester. And it's still quite confusing and we would want to organize our classes in Neo LMS. So I'll be helping you that by putting our uh, the classes that we've had in the first semester into archive because um, we might still be able to use those classes next year or next semester. So the process is just very easy. Let me just uh, share my screen. All right, so I'm now um, showing you the, my new LMS account. And usually the landing page would be in catalog view. Right now I am on um, list view. Usually the, the landing page would be this. This is how it looks like. All right, so first step is on the, looking on the left side of your panel, you would find um, the home page which will direct you to this catalog view of the subjects that you have created last semester. So last semester, I've had the Philippine Culture and Tourism for BSHM 1A and 1B, then Multicultural Diversity in the Workplace for 3B and 3C, and some more subjects down here. And actually in preparation for second semester, I have already created my classes for introduction to meetings incentive conventions and expo exposition for um, BSHM 1A and 1B and research classes for BSHM 3A, 3B, 3C and tourism. So right now I would want to put um, the classes that, that I have had last semester into archives. So the first thing is you will see on the right um, side of the panel this button which will enable you to have those classes in list view. Okay. All right. So the classes are now on list view. The next thing that you are to do is to click the, the classes that you want to put into archive. So I'll be putting the Philippine Culture and Tourism Geography 1A, 1B, and the Multicultural Diversity in the Workplace for 3B and 3C, and these are new subjects. So I'll just keep it as is. I'm also putting the regional and international cuisine um, HR 413 research project in HR and the quality service management and tourism and hospitality to archive. Now, step number three is after selecting the classes, you will find here the button archive. So you just have to click that. All right, a confirmation message will be displayed asking you or confirming you if you are so sure of the process that you are um, doing. So since I'm sure that I would want to put those into archive, I'm gonna click okay. All right, so it might take a short while. A confirmation message will appear on top to confirm the archival of the classes. And you will see here on the top page, the selected item items are being archived and you will see here on the notification bell that um, of the automatic notification of the archival of classes 
was actually successful. So next step would be, so to see the list of all of the archive classes subject, you have to go to the archive um, tab. So I just have to go to the home page and see this archive button. And you see that I have actually archived this um, one, two, three, four, five, six, the, se the seven classes that I have had last semester. So, so that's uh, how easy it is. Now, to just to show you how, if, if you would want to reactivate these classes or you still need some file, I'll be showing you how to reactivate classes that has been archived. So first thing is you have to proceed to archive tab and you have to select the class that you want to activate. So example, I would want to open the file of Philippine culture and tourism geography for 1A. So you just have to click this reactivate button all right, and a confirmation message will appear. Just have to click OK. And just the same, a message will pop up on top saying that the selected item has been reactivated and that you will receive a notification when the operation has been completed. So check the notification bell, okay, over, over here on, on top saying that um, the reactivation of classes was actually successful. So let's check on the, the teaching tab on the homepage. And see here, this Philippine culture and tourism geography for 1A, which I have reactivated was actually part of the active file together with my, um, the files that I have for this semester. So that's how easy it is. All right, so on the part of the, the students, they will also receive a confirmation that their previous classes last semester has already been archived and they no longer have um, the chance to access those files. All right, so automatically that will be, um, they will receive a notification. So make sure that you archive the classes that you've had last semester, all right? So if you do have questions, please feel free to ask or message me any concerns about our Neo LMS. My email address is eliosojeremiah at yahoo.com or you can also send me a direct message on the messaging function of our Neo LMS, all right? All right, so thank you very much for um, taking time watching this. Please do like and share for more updates on our new LMS. Thank you very much and have a good day.